What's up, y'all? Been a long time since I made a gun video. I think the last video actually I made for YouTube totally was my motorcycle video when I got it back from the garage in like the middle of summer. But, <clears throat> but when it comes to motorcycle videos, you're gonna be getting a lot very shortly because of, I'm gonna be doing a bike build. I got a brand new Ultima shovelhead crate motor down in my cellar. The, fr the rigid frame should be here by the end of the week. We're gonna st start building. But besides the point, this video ain't about that. It's about the AK-47 I bought today. Picked up the Kalashnikov USA 103 side folder. Look at her all in her glory. Been waiting about a year for Kalashnikov USA to come out with it. Well, release this one. I figured if I'm going to buy a 100 series Kalashnikov, especially the 103, well, actually any of the 100 series, it's got to have the side folder on it. I don't want, I don't want that half-ass shit. Things I will say about this rifle from taking it out of its case and giving it a pretty quick inspection. I mean, compared to other AK-47s I've owned, even, even the Arsenal's, This one in particular, Clash like the USA has their shit together because this is a fucking tight rifle. I mean, it's put together well. According to uh, things I've read and whatever and whatnot, Kalashnikov USA does everything to spec is, is the same as Kalashnikov Concern in Russia. Everything on this, on this is right. I mean, the safety's spot on it's not too tight it's not too loose it's got a friggin um chrome line hammerfoot barrel this i know i think the the first 103s that came out were, weren't chrome line but this was chrome line the gas tube latch on this is tight the way i like it i mean on the psa 74 model i have it was loose it, i mean it it was too loose. I didn't get why it was so loose like that, but I mean, I had to bend it back a little bit a couple times, but I got it. It's it's tight now, but I didn't like that coming right out of the box being that loose. Even the stock on the on the 74 model, even before I put the triangle on, the metal triangle skeleton stock, the plastic stock on it was kind of flimsy, and I mean, it was kind of loose. On this, it isn't. I mean... Things I will, I'll say flat out, this, this rifle's put together well. It's got a pretty decent trigger, too. The receiver riding is pretty much the same as a Sega. I will say, I will... After, I'm going to take this rifle out Saturday. You know, I got a couple boxes of um, steel case right there. Nothing, nothing... To brag about, but I'm gonna take this out, you know, throw a couple rounds down and see what it's all about. I will say I'm pleased with it. I mean, it's, it's put together pretty good. I know when I seen the video, Tim's video on the military arms channel last week at like three in the morning. I know when he said he got his, it only came with one steel Korean mag, which there it is right there. But mine actually came with the, the KUSA polymer mag. I know on their website they're sold out. That's why I had to buy a bunch of these commercial Bulgarians right here. Got some more coming too. Got some AK-74 commercial Bulgarians right there and some Circle 10s. Just wanted to, okay, whatever. I just wanted to make a really quick video on this. Nothing spectacular, nothing to brag about. I just wanted to show everybody. All right, I'm going to watch a book of Boba Fett. Ciao.